so welcome to Hamburg if you're watching this video. I'm hoping that you have also watched the model Wonderland video or miniature Wonderland video. If you haven't already, do be sure to check that one out. We've literally just come from there. I've got a bag of stuff that I ended up buying and we're now spending the afternoon and um, sampling some of Hamburg's buses. As you all know, Hamburg's buses have featured in OMSI 2, the bus simulator, quite a lot. A few different maps through the years, through a few different types of buses through the years. However, in this video, what we'll do is we're going to take a, a random explore of their bus network because they have some quite unique and um, interesting vehicles. Bearing in mind that Hotchban, who run round here, run the Hamburg services, they don't run any deckers in this city. The owner deckers are on sightseeing services. So what they do is they have mega bendy buses, and I mean mega ones. So we're going to sample a few of the mega bendy buses. We're going to sample a few of the Voot, see what it's like. Um, sort of the, it, unlike Berlin, um, that I'll be doing a full public transport video on, sort of seeing all the different connections you can do. Um, sort of Hamburg is very, very reliable on the buses and um, they've got more buses they do have a, a basic sort of u-band network but it is primarily buses so that's what we're going to be focusing on in this video so i do have henry with me somewhere behind there and we're going to go to that bus shelter and probably just jump on a random bus and see where we end up so the next bus due is a 17 looks like it's going to be an electric bender bus and um, they do have electric bender buses now in berlin and bvg run them primarily on the tourist 100 and 200 services we don't quite know at the time of recording where the enviro 500 mmc's have gone as they do these electric buses do appear to have replaced them on a temporary basis you also get these very very nice um, sd 77s um, that do tours as you can hear, sounding lovely, doing tours um, around the city. I believe quite a lot of them have been re-engined as they don't sound quite as beasty um, as the ones um, from Omsi 2, like on, on in Berlin sound. Um, but I imagine they have been obviously to run at current, like current times. There are quite a lot of electric ones, as you can see there's a Mercedes over there. However, the one that we are getting on looks to be a Yutong variation. So we'll jump on these doors here. Oh, no, okay, there it is. Thank you. There we go, we weren't quick enough with the doors. Still getting used to it round here. This one does not sound electric. I thought it was. I know that the ones with the bodywork um, in Berlin are electric. This one, by the sounds of it, appears to be diesel. Um, a few other things to show you as well. I'm obviously trying to um, keep recording as we go. Is these boards here and that show you the next departures from the next stop. So if you're making a connection, it's easy enough. There's a countdown of approximately when you're going to be at each stop that I think is cool. And if it does load up, and um, they do also, I know that um, we were on a bus going to a um, miniature wonderland, it also shows you a map of where the bus actually is, that I also think is really, really cool. these are definitely not diesel and it appears unlike um, in Berlin that we did get used to and um, what you do on these is you jump on the two front doors that's why when we were there um, I will have edited it out but when we were there those doors didn't open and we did have to go to the front so you, all, so you jump on the doors on these are the two front doors um, and then um, I think and then the rear ones are just for exiting or something like that that's what we'll probably be doing um, for the rest of the day um, but it's quite weird that this is this is like a diesel one. You have run electric variations of this um, yesterday. Um, I didn't film them, um, but off camera we took a trip on one of these. It is quite odd.
So there we go, we're in a random place, and I have just remembered it isn't a Yutong, although the badge does look similar. It is, in fact, a Solaris, is this? A Solaris Ubino 18. A diesel variant, probably one of the last diesel variants built. 7742 was the one. Quite a weird destination layout at the back where you've got the um, actual destination and then the number in a separate box. So now what we're going to do is we'll probably cross over the road where there's a lot of people waiting and jump on a bus back into the centre. Well, we've got the opportunity. Um, we've got a couple of minutes to the bus. It's very, very nice to just look at the view. This seems to be a common trend um, during my visit to this country. Just lovely weather. We've got very, very lucky with the weather. Um, lovely scenery. And especially with Hamburg, with all the rivers and the canals. Looking very, very nice. So here's our bus, another Bender bus, but you will notice that this one has an additional axle at the back. Yes, it is actually here. It's got five doors and an additional axle. That is pretty cool. So let's open the door. And what we'll do for this is we will stand on the bend bit. It has been very, very long since I've been able to properly stand here um, and go around the corners on a on a bend bit. Bearing in mind that this bit at the bottom, excuse my charging wire, and um, does rotate. So there we go, another random place, and um, we're going to wait for the 25 bus. The 25 um, will take us to BF Altona, um, that appears um, in one of the OMSI 2 maps. So that's why we're going there, as you can see. The dual axle um, rear bit, and the um, feature of about four doors um, <laughs> to us from the UK is quite, um, quite different to what we um, usually get. So we should have about four or five minutes here. So on this 25 to BF um, Altona, we've got a nice old Citaro, um, one of the oldest ones still in the Hotchpan fleet, 7315. So we'll go to the rear door. There we go. So with that 25 running about 10 minutes they got quite chaotic so we've decided to jump off um, that crossover and get a 20. This time it's one of the Bender buses, um, one of the like C2s again, but it doesn't have um, sort of dual axle. So there's actually just, oh we'll jump on here, there's actually just three standard axles on this one. There we go, somewhere else, Winterhood uh, Market Platz, somewhere that we did pass earlier, so I thought we'd stop off and have a look. So very, very handy board is telling us, so back to the centre, our next bus is going to be in three minutes time. So when we get to the centre, probably going to have a walk through the centre to the other side, and then we're going to do a bus on what used to be the old 109 service. I can't find the 109 on, on, like, on, online on your basic Google search, but we'll see if there's any remnants of that route left. 
um, that runs sort of direct um, out, I believe, west of the city. Um, so hopefully we'll do a little spin on that to sort of finish off um, all of our random types of buses. But as, as you have seen, it's all very much different types of bendy buses and then your sort of rigid non rigid non bendies um, operate your express and sort of further field services obviously because bendy buses can't go everywhere. So our bus is here and this one's in an advert. So 7449 and is another just triaxle articulated bus. Lovely air conditioning on these as well, that must be noted. Very, very nice and cold in this warm weather. Here we are at Vassus Market, you recognise this from the OMSI 2 um, games that we've played in the past. Um, this is very, very nice. Gosh, it looks really nice and pleasant. And it also looks really accurate um, to what it actually does in real life. Like, in, in the game and real life kind of thing. So this is really cool, probably going to go for one and then going to do a bus out on what's left of the 109 service, hopefully in that direction. Um, and see kind of where we end up, but for now, probably just having a little bit of a nose around here. So getting a Volvo win now, we've got a 7900, um, one of the electric ones on the 4 server. So we'll jump on this. Oh, very, very nice and cool. My first time on one of these um, 7900 vehicles ever. Um, I haven't been, haven't had the look of being on one before. So I've heard they do sound quite nice. I think similar to B5LHs. So we've got a short ride on a rigid one, however down here I do see an articulated one. So we'll see where the nearest bus stops are, we may end up jumping on that if we're lucky enough. And we're now going back on another Citaro with five doors on it and four axles um, on the number six service. Again, lovely air conditioner when you get onto these, it's like a really nice breath of fresh air. Now I sat at the back of one of these on the film as well, you can see just how big the engine is on these, because they are very, very long and very heavy vehicles, the engine is absolutely huge and it is incredibly loud, it, it, it's very, very nice. Like a very, very throaty um, standard Mercedes like, um, Citaro engine. So we're going, we're off here, it is incredibly warm today so we're probably going to have a sit down for a drink and then we'll see what bus we end up getting back. The game is some nice kick down as well at one point, um, obviously they can't go too fast on these kind of roads um, but it must be said that the quad axles on them with the beef engine it has and when they do give it a little bit of kick down, a little bit more power, they sound absolutely amazing. So to summarise this video, and once again, um, the common theme with the Germany and um, Hamburg and Berlin videos is, my goodness me, how impressive the network was. A very, very frequent bus services, it means that even someone like me, who it's my first time visiting Germany while I was filming this, was able to um, go to random locations with the security that there would be a bus back at a regular frequency, at a regular interval. There was no stresses, no worries. Um, all the buses were absolutely huge, lots of capacity, very, very nice to be in articulated vehicles as well. 
um, on sort of all these nice runs. Hamburg itself as a city is absolutely incredible. It's a city I'm going to be visiting um, again at some point as um, a day trip didn't quite give it enough justice. A few things to point out with the buses themselves, though, aside from the route, is that the um, bender buses, the C2s, that had the dual rear axle um, behind the bend, they were absolutely immense, sounded really, really nice, like very, very beefy Mercedes engines, obviously quite heavy, heavy vehicles, and um, with them being sort of half and half rather than carrying a trailer as opposed up to the bend. And alongside that, um, all their different variety of vehicles, like the electric ones, I tried to cover as much as I could in this video. Unfortunately, I haven't, we weren't able to go on every single bus, but I did try and cover as much as I could, so hopefully that's given enough of an insight into it. Um, but what, what was quite nice um, was obviously um, that, just that sheer variety of buses that they've got. But something else to note before I do um, forget is that there were none of the dual articulated van hulls out on the visit that we made. Um, they do usually, we have seen quite a lot of um, footage of them, um, obviously um, sort of on old videos from like 2021 and, and backwards from that of these um, Van Hull mega bender buses with two bends in them. But unfortunately on my visit, I might have been in the wrong part, they might not have been in service out there, they might have withdrawn them, weren't out in service. It was a big shame, but if you are planning a trip to Hamburg, do be aware um, that those vehicles are no longer in use at the moment and um, that we recorded this, that is summer 2022. Besides that though, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have done, do be sure to click that like button so that more people can find it and enjoy like you have. And if you haven't already, do be sure to subscribe to the And More Central YouTube channel for more content like this from the real life bus industry. Once again, I'd like to thank you all for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you all in the next one I make. Goodbye for now. Bye.